Dispatch. Go ahead. Dispatch. This is Detective Stoned Ape. I've apprehended a murderer. I need backup right away. What do you mean, am I ready? I'm Stoned Ape. I'm gonna smoke him. Okay, I finished processing the scene. I need to call dispatch and fill them in on the situation. Dispatch, go ahead. Dispatch, this is Detective Slade, badge number 07-1975. What can I do for you, Detective? I'm at Water Heights Apartments on the corner of 3rd Avenue and Creston Street in the Green Banks District. I need units dispatched to my location immediately. A murder has taken place. Also inform the coroner to be on site as well. Roger that. Backup is en route. Coroner to be dispatched. ETA, 15 minutes. Please wait for backup before pursuing the suspect. I can't wait. Every second that passes, that psycho could get away. I should go to apartment 203 and pay Mr. Jenkins a visit. Alright, I guess we're gonna go give the murderer a knock. Jenkins, open the Charles door. Jenkins, this is Detective Slade with the RSPD. Open up now. I don't hear any movement inside, but the door is open. I should take a look. Putting his gloves on. As I got evidence to collect, I felt like I stepped back into the 80s, the retro old school oh, yeah. decor. Something that looked regurgitated from my past. Charles has to be in here somewhere. I should use caution. What a pigsty. Weak old pizza and dried vomit. The camera. Nasty. A laptop. The battery's dead, but I bet there's lots of useful stuff on there. Yeah, can we take it with us? A bunch of beer cans. It's an Atari. A classic gaming console with a few cartridges. Who remembers those days when video games came on cartridges? Yeah. Sure do. Fond memories. He said that. Oh, you be on your own. Hmm. This looks like a great game if you want to sweat up a few extra pounds. Oh, you can put it in. Oh. That's sick. Good job I blew on it so it plays properly. Oh, that's wicked. Oh, this is, um, I don't remember this being an Atari game. I mean, look at the graphics. This card is messed up, and I'm not about to blow into it to get the work either. It looks like it might be a detective game, though. Huh. I'm gonna blow cool. into it. What are you on about? Oh, nice. Here it works. If you're watching this, this is awesome. Really awesome touch. Let's find out. Oh my god. Oh, is it going to show us a clue? That was great. Alright, can we get um, prints from any of this? Yes! There we go. Because we needed a print to match. A nice clean lift. Yeah! This matches there we go. the print we found in the coffee mug room 202. It'll be one right, more so that's nail 27. in the Twenty-seven. Two more pieces of evidence. Right, let's check these rooms, I guess. Oh, what's that? An ID? Well, well, well. Mr. Jenkins, I assume. Nice to finally put a face to the man of the hour. 
So according to this, you're the maintenance man for the building? Can I just say you're doing a really shitty job? Now where are you hiding? Alright, let's try that. There we go. If the DNA from the cigarette and the hair matches, we'll have our killer. Alright, 29 pieces of evidence. But I want to say a special thanks to Gearworks, the developer of this game, is super helpful. Uh, thanks a lot, bud. Alright. Jenkins, where are you? Alright. What's that? Dr. Key? Yes. Charles? Oh, man. That made me jump. <laughs> Another key. That's got to be for the downstairs one. Alright. Jenkins, I'm coming to get you. Yes. Alright. Where's that backup? That's been, it's got to be longer than 15 minutes now. Entering the dimly lit basement, all I could think about was a horror movie. Where I'm the heroic protagonist and Charles Jenkins is the ever elusive killer. We all know how most horror movies end. I need to be very cautious. I'm in charge of writing this tale. Yeah. I gotta remember my training. Don't go in there gun ho. Here we go. Oh man. This is a bit creepy. Charles? Shit. Charles Jenkins, come out now with your hands up. Stop playing around. This is only going to end in one of two ways. Oh, you in a body bag or in cuffs. The choice is yours. Jesus Christ. After sputtering that trash, I felt like an action star in a B-rated flick. Oh, mate. It's turned into a horror game now. Do I need my evidence? I don't think so. You're running out of places to hide, asshole. Wait, we're just going in a big circle. I guess he's not running out of places to hide. Son of a bitch! Enough of this cat and mouse crap! I'm so sick and tired of this cat and mouse crap. I need to do something to corner this rat. A few moments later. Oh. No, aha. Uh -huh. Open up, Charles. Now! Damn, it looks like he's standing his ground. I need to get in there. Oh, it's this lock. He's locked it.
Oh, serious. Charles? Mr. Jenkins, you're under arrest. Drop the knife and turn around and get down on your knees and put your hands behind your head. Do it now! Charles Jenkins, you're under arrest for the murder of Jack Mathers. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney... Got him. We got the bastard. Upon further investigation, I discovered that Jack Mathers is in fact a retired homicide detective for the RSPD. He yeah. left the force many years ago. Like all good cops, they take the cold case files into retirement with them in hopes of solving them one day. However, Jack took it one step too far when he moved in across the hall from one of his suspects. And unfortunately, it cost him his life. If there's anything positive to come out of this horrendous act, it's the fact that he gave the victim's family some much needed closure. And Jack, he'll be remembered as a hero. Hello, it's a mock car. 